My name is Petra Green. Um, I will be speaking on behalf of the ETRI Social Lab. Um, Lenka is over there. Obviously, the podium is too small for the both of us, <laughs> both our egos. Um, so, as I said, I will, I will be speaking uh, on behalf of the ETRI Social Lab, which is the social lab within the uh, TCBL network. Our primary goals um, are to help connecting the creative sector domestically with the textile manufacturers in the region. Um, also to bring awareness to um, our, general, well, our domestic general public to help them rediscover the local textile industry, which in effect is one of the few remaining in EU with an um, interrupted, um, uh, long-standing interrupted tradition in um, manufacturing clothes uh, and to recognize it as part of our national heritage and also to promote the idea of a more inclusive society, highlighting the potential within the industry uh, for employment across a very wide spectrum of abilities, um, creation of green jobs, knowledge transfer, which is necessary, and expand also our um, national tourist offering uh, that could be of high importance uh, for the promotion of Slovenia as the green smart experience, which is the slogan for the um, Doha Expo 2020. Um, because we know now that we do need to add more value to our products and services, so we, otherwise we will not survive, and I think it's a, a communal problem. Um, we won't survive in the long run, and this can only be achieved with quality, innovative design, and a new approach to selling as well. So, who we are, as I already said, my name is Petra Green, over there is Lenka. Um, we are part of the ETRI community, which is a network of 20 businesses from different sectors. Um, Lenka has been running her office supplies company for um, Yazon for the last 30 years. Uh, also, she is the figurehead, the, the leader of the A3 community. And um, her company today employs um, over 80, uh, has over 80 employees, 70% of which um, have disabilities, are registered disabled. Um, myself, on the other hand, um, I'm a fashion designer turned entrepreneur with over 20 years um, experience in the fashion industry, 12 of which I spent in the UK, first working with um, large high street suppliers, then uh, freelancing for small brands um, before starting my own interiors textile uh, brand. During that time, I also tutored briefly on London College of Fashion I was, as an external um, tutor, which then led to my um, fashion business consultancy uh, practice, which I migrated from London to Ljubljana about two years ago, and uh, Linka very fondly likes to refer to me her um, Brexit migrant. <laughs> Sad but true. So yes, Lenka and I met last year on our way to conference to Prato. I came, uh, I came to Prato with a quite n not many expectations, basically just to uh, wanting to network and see if I can find any like-minded people to to connect with and and do business with in the future. Uh, and um, she was very quick to identify synergies between. Um, my approach, what I was trying to do almost single-handedly and what the, the mission um, um, the mission of A3 community within the TCBL uh, network as well. So um, the main thing was that I actually came from the, the fashion industry, both domestic um, uh, and and uh, um, um, foreign, whereas herself, her, her experience in the fashion field is somewhat limited. So, um, my inclusion in the team, yep, 
My inclusion in the team helped to speed up the process of, or, uh, processes of identifying and connecting potential partners uh, locally, domestically, uh, needed to achieve, and, and uh, in the region obviously, uh, needed to achieve the ethri community goals set for the local uh, textile se sector. Because one of the key ingredients, let's say, of any project to be successful in terms of it coming to fruition and having a, a sustainable, lasting legacy, uh, is to find industry white knights, um, businesses, entrepreneurs, individuals um, with a shared vision, uh, because no substantial so societal shifts are possible without direct grassroots action, and in our case, it is that is a collective of like-minded businesses uh, that while still pursuing their individual um, goals, business goals, uh, already incorporate within their models, business DNA, uh, the ETRI, ETRI principles of the collective uh, as the bounding ethos uh, in a spirit of collaboration and, and sharing. So let me tell you a little bit about ETRI. Uh, for those that don't know, the, the ETRI stands for Ecology, Ergonomics and Ethical Economy. And these are the founding principles of the ETRI community, which focuses on development of innovative services and product, enabling uh, social inclusion, promoting a new cooperative approach to business uh, that requires complete transformation of how people perceive economy and the market seeking to affect changes designed for people. So people are the center of, of everything uh, ETRI as a community stands for. Already? Oh dear. Um, so, oh Jesus, time goes so fast. So one of the things that we were um, involved in, I was involved in um, as well, um, it was the building of the network, the co-factory network. Also, um, so we have here five centers that you can see, but around these five centers are also smaller dots that we are uh, seeking to connect. And also the concept of the tra trace tag, uh, that ha has to do with traceability, but we are not so much interested in developing the software, whereas we need to, we feel we need to first develop the language, uh, a way to communicate uh, with the consumer, um, so where am I? Um, so that they understand uh, their importance within the whole production and uh, product lifestyle cycle. Um, so basically, Trace Tag is very low tech. We do understand we do need a, um, a software to ultimately base it for, but in first. In the first instance it, needs to, instance, it needs to be a visual trigger, um, and the, the uh, information needs to be conveyed in, in very clear, uh, concise snippets so that they get engaged for further online and so on um, uh, uh, exploration. Yeah, well, a lot of text. So, um, to conclude, yeah, well, yeah, you're better. <laughs> your, your speech also because we are interested in the yeah. possible merge well, of the previous Yes, and, and actually not just, not just the Etichetta Parlante, but uh, we have identified quite a few possible, as we said, like synergies uh, with everything that we are, um, uh, we, we are involved in because we feel that we can, uh, Slovenia is well placed to be a test bed for a lot of these projects, being a small community where everything is quite in in, in vicinity, the, the users, the uh, the uh, the customers, and the creative sector is very close together, and we are interested in um, joining the three and and test new ideas for the communal market. Thank you. Sorry for the overlap. <laughs>